Hey everyone, welcome back to another video. If it's your first time, welcome. If you're a returning subscriber, how's it, how's it? What kind? So in today's video, I am gonna talk about cultural shocks. So if you're new to the channel, I am South African and I'm living in America. Now I do have a part one and a part two, but I've been here for quite some time now. Well, not over 10 years, let me just say that under 10 years i have encountered or i've experienced more cultural shocks and i feel like it's only going to be ongoing so i may come back with another video like this so number one i've realized that in this country red meat is not eaten as much as it is in south africa it's not really a big thing now i may be in the wrong state i'm not speaking for the whole of america but i found in the areas i've stayed in i stayed in colorado new jersey i'm now in the dmv area they don't eat a lot a lot of red meat they eat a lot of chicken chicken is their meat um i know a lot of people try to stay away from red meat here because of health reasons they feel like it's not good for you to eat a lot of red meat versus in south africa i feel like even when you fry fam there's fry meat there's red meat you cook beef curry when your guests come over you don't really serve them chicken you do if you want to but here i find chicken is the it for them here you can find hot dogs on the fry stand you can find burger patties on the fry stand you can find chicken wings on the fry stand now don't get me wrong we will put chicken wings on the fry stand but there will be some steak there will be some red meat there will be some like a little pork there a little sh -sh -sh -sh. and i find that meat in south africa is a big thing we love our meat versus yeah they love their chicken i don't know if it's making sense the second thing and you would think by now i'd be used to it but the cold guys i feel like the weather in general yeah for me is a massive cultural shock because as i said to you if you've watched my other videos i didn't really google america but the hot is hot the cold is cold and i'm a durban girl so i am naturally cold but i feel like guys this is extreme i only here i've experienced ice cars we have to scrape the ice off in the morning you have to heat your cars up because you know it's gonna be cold inside and so yeah the weather here for me even in summer sometimes it's hot there's been times where i've been so hot i was just like i think i'm gonna faint that's how hot i am and i just have to constantly hydrate myself i think this year also i'm experiencing it a lot or feeling it a lot is because i actually have friends through these seasons here and so in Colorado I did have friends to be honest but they want much to do there versus here where I say there's a lot of things to do places to go places to see so I'm constantly out the house and I'm suddenly realizing the weather here is cold cold and summer was hot hot and so yeah the weather has been a big adjustment even just with your clothes I don't remember back home splitting my closet up and having like winter clothes section and summer clothes section like now all my summer clothes I can't really wear them now in winter they just Sitting in the drawer i had to like move them away and put my summer clothes i mean my winter clothes in and vice versa versus in south africa i find they'll still be like summer t-shirts yeah you can layer with them but they'd be still like jackets i could wear in summer back home and in winter or there'd be things that you can wear you know in like both seasons and it's not even in south africa though well let me not say south africa in durban there'll be times where i'm, I'm sure there's been like um a moment or two where i've worn shorts even in winter where it's like that one random hot day but yeah i just think it's cold y'all or oh, it's like hot but yeah it's cold okay the third thing when i was looking at my other two videos i was like i can't believe i didn't speak about this because this as a south african durban height this was a big cultural shock december yeah like i was like December yeah is so different I was like why is everyone still working it's the 23rd so yeah people work up until like 23rd 24th most of the time people get the 24th or half day or 25th and 20 no 24th and 25th off and then some people will get like maybe that week they'll be off from the 24th and they'll go back um the 2nd of January but they use their leave as that it's not to say it's you know from the company versus in South Africa I feel like people are off the whole of December it's like a whole party it's a whole vibe and then the kids the kids is one blew my mind because back home people threw a fit this one here when we had to go back to school early because there was strikes and everything i think we had to go back to school on the 16th or the 15th like that and i remember people making jokes like the kids are gonna go back eating turkey sandwiches by this you know, that whole thing versus here yeah, i was like my husky went back to school on the 3rd of january last year he went back to school on the 2nd or oh, i think my first year of being here with them he went back on the 2nd but i remember just being like 
the day after New Year's, the day, because I think New Year's was, um, yeah, I think it was, New Year's was a Saturday, and so he had Friday off, and then Sunday was just the normal off, and he went back Monday, and I was just like, wow like you go back to school so early like literally i was like you just celebrated christmas and new years but it is a cultural shock and you just have to adapt and especially if you so you stop having plans in december it's like oh you come here and you're like wait guys wait guys it's cold there's like no like we're going to the beach in december or we're going to be by the pool the whole day and we're just gonna bry and so that was like a big cultural shock that i had to adjust to and i know i'm not the only one because all the South Africans I've spoken to have been like yo December is the hardest time okay number four is the health I don't want to say the health issue the health um almost like their insurance the health policies and that whole thing and so I had surgery last year this time like the 25th to 24th of January last year I had surgery now no one prepared me for how America does their whole health system thing. It was a journey, hey? It was one of those things where I was just like, wow. Because I just thought it's like back home where you have your insurance card. You know, they claim it and they, they send all the filing to your insurance card and they pay it out, whatever. Yeah, I was getting bills upon bills upon bills. You pay the physician, you pay the administrator, you pay, yeah, you pay. It was like so many like different pay, 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 pay. Thank God, God came through for your girl. But I was just like, I remember being like, this is a lot. Like I even called the what's this thing, the health insurance person, I was like, aren't you guys meant to like figure all this out for me or just like pay? But there was like a lot of like, I had to pay individual people besides the copay, I forgot, levies. Besides levies that you have to pay and all those things. Yeah, and I, I just assumed maybe I would pay the copay, which is like the levies thing. But no, there's like a lot of back and forth. And then when I got the bill, somebody who is actually in the industry was like, in the, in the field was like, make sure you check and you recognize all the doctors because there's so many incidents where people get overbilled or overcharged for things they didn't do and make sure you're getting charged for like the right things like check did you go for that injection did you go for this and i was like what like why would they do that they don't even have like free clinics or um what's this place you know like how they have free clinics back home in every area for people who can't afford or people who just want to see if they have a flu and some places you can't even just get over the counter medication like you can't just go like i can go to clicks and be like i think i have this wrong i need the flu and i buy over the counter over the counter like medication yeah they are like um like walgreens you can go to certain places and get stuff but you can't get the strong there's like a way you can't there's like because i remember wanting to get the strong stuff and they were like no you have to get it and i'm like i can i get this in south africa i get it over the counter in south africa but yeah i can't get it um but yeah they don't really have free clinics for people so if you sick or you have you know you need a flu shot or all those things you have to have to go to a doctor and you have to pay money versus in south africa i find um there's definitely those free places because I was like, man, I feel so bad for some of the people here yeah, who can't afford to go to doctors who need. I was like, y'all should have clinics that are free. Now, I must say that I was told that legally they can't turn away somebody who needs help or like an emergency at a hospital. But I'm talking about people who don't are not like dying in front of them in the hospital. I'm just talking about people who are sick or their babies are sick and they can't afford to take them to the doctor. Like even like free hospitals where you can have a whole surgery for free or give birth for free and all these things. It's like I feel like they don't really have those when less i just don't know but yeah the healthcare system here is it's, it's a lot it is like i was like bless your heart if you have to do this um all the time but it was a lot of learning and figuring out and like going to all these places but yeah that was like a cultural shock for me number five and the reason that i put it as a cultural shock there's a whole bus going by a school bus for the kids the reason why i put this as a cultural shock is because i was meant to record a video with a friend okay and this one is number five is you don't just show up okay you don't just show up at people's houses in america in south africa it's okay in america it's not okay anyway i was meant to record a video with my friend she was meant to come to my house okay we had spoke about it spoke about it, spoke about it i was like okay on friday after work come to my house she's like yeah sure friday after work i'll come to your house this was like sunday or something i said to her okay cool bye see you whatever 
Friday comes, I'm chilling, I'm waiting for the girl to come. I'm like, okay, she know, I don't know what time she knocks off. I just had said so afterward, come, whatever. I'm chilling, waiting, 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 waiting. How? Girl's not coming. I'm like, where is homegirl? I like so I'm like, oh, okay. And I don't I didn't want to rush her because I'm like, yo, she's doing me a favor. I keep quiet. Finally at like 7.30, 8 o'clock, I'm like, hey, like, are you okay? Whatever. She's like, oh, I was gonna text you and say, do you want to reschedule? Because I like you didn't text me to confirm if I can still come to your house. And so I just assumed that I can't come over. And I was like, what? Like, what do you mean? I said, come Friday after work. And it's like, chill. And this has happened to a few of my friends. I was like, I'll just show up. And they'll still be like, yeah, I was by your house, but I was afraid to pop by. And I was like, you were by my house. You were right here. Just ring the bell. And the worst thing that could happen is I wouldn't answer the bell. That's all I would do. I'm a professional hider in my house. And so, yeah, in America, you can't. And we even spoke about this as friends. And I was like, it's definitely a cultural difference. Because I'd be like, yo, I'm coming to your house. Lauren, are you here? Are you here? Are you here? I'm showing up. I'm pulling up. I'm about to pull up. And I was like, it's definitely a cultural shock or cultural difference where in south africa if my aunt was in the neighborhood and she just popped up we'd be like yo come up you want some tea you want some cake versus here you have to check if the person's home you have to take them you have to it's just a whole thing um and they were like no you have to respect people's boundaries you can't just show up unannounced to their house it's just not a great sign of respect and i was like but we best buddies and we family like but I can't do it. Obviously, in South Africa, you don't do that to random people, but some people do. But anyway, that is the video for today. What other cultural shocks you guys have experienced if you're living in America? Let me know below because I'm always curious to hear other people's cultural shocks because they're always different to mine. But bye. See you guys in the next video.